welcome back here to Charlotte Motor Speedway. It's time to let the stars of the Ver of the Verdesign series shine. Welcome to the 8th annual NASCAR for Redstone All-Star Race here from the Charlotte Motor Speedway in Concord, North Carolina. Johnny Gardner has, has a night off, so our pit reporter, Daniel Worlds, will be joining me for co-color co -color commentating tonight. Daniel, we got a studded 23 All-Star field. Yeah, a lot of excitement. I bet these 23 drivers have been waiting for this moment. They've been really looking forward to this race. It's what we call the stars are out, the gloves come off. It is time to race for a lot of money on the line, even though there are no points on the line. No points on the line, but a lot of money at stake. Let's go ahead and break down each segment because there were last-minute changes to this all-star format. It's going yes, to be four segments. Four segments, uh, two, two 20 lap segments. Segment one and two are 20 laps. Then we will move on to segment three. That's going to be where it's going get, to get down the crunch time. 15 laps in segment three. Segment four is a, is a penultimate segment. 10 laps. That's all you get. Yep, four segments, and these drivers will have a lot of chatting with their crew chiefs to see what kind of calls they're going to make on pit road in this all-star race so it should be a fun race to see and we saw in the showdown race turn four could be the trouble spot on this track we saw a huge wreck coming off turn four let's hope we don't see that with 23 cars on the grid let's hope we don't and let's break down the prizes for each segment if you win one segment you pocket a million if you win two if you win two segments in a row you pocket two million if you win three, you win three million. If you win the penultimate segment and all three, including the final segment, you not only pocket four million dollars, but you pocket yourself a trip to the chase. Yeah, and for these drivers, if they're not running well in points, a spot in the chase is what they would like to have. That's that's something that, that can get you a lot of publicity if you are a low-funded race team. Speaking of uh, lineups, let's, let's get to tonight's starting lineup. What makes these drivers worthy to be in this penultimate race? Let's get to it. We got Ray Takeda in the three animate Dodge Challenger. She is a relative of a NASCAR president, so she is locked in. Whoops, wrong way. Thank you, cameraman. Uh, Stephanie <laughs> Gardner uh, got in virtue of... NASCAR presidency and uh, NPR presidency. We got the 39 Zachary Fitzwater. Uh, not sure what got him on, uh, here, but it was most, li most likely a, a tie in the fan vote. Nathan Hudson, uh, 2000 uh, uh, season seven Daytona Shootout champion. So if you win any any races at Daytona, whether it, it be in Speed Weeks or the big race or the or the race returning to it, you automatically pocket yourself a trip to this All-Star race. Eric Powers, my goodness, what can we say about this guy? He's a spank in the field in terms of the points this season. Three wins, and he's pocketing himself not only a trip to the chase, but a trip to the, uh, this All-Star race this season. Natalie Loomis. Got in on the fan vote. Uh, got in on the All Star Showdown. Uh, that that race got called about uh, about halfway through due to weather. Amayumi in the GameStop Sims 4 Dodge Challenger. NASCAR presidency uh, reserves her spot in this in this season's All Star race. Defending series champion Sona Course, two time champion of this series. That. That that championship automatically locks her in to future All Star races to come. Diana Vasquez, two time Daytona champion and a relative of, of a NASCAR president for Pony Motorsports, locks her in to future All Star races as well. Last ride for for Wilson DiCarlo tonight. He is locked in virtue of the das, uh, of the NASCAR presidency, but final ride here for Will uh, for Wilson as Will will will. DiCarlo will make his return uh, later on this week in the 400-miler. Daniel Boyles. 
Uh, you want to say what got you in? Um, I got into this all-star race because I was a former chaser for the championship, so that's how I got into this all-star race. And it, it, if you lock, if you make the chase, uh, you secure a all-star lock-in for the upcoming season. So, if you're in the chase, you're in the all-star race next season. That would be big for me because a good season for me. No one has it, honestly. Fernand Gallo, Daytona Shootout champion from season number seven. Nick Duncan, fan vote winner. Local boy, Durham, North Carolina. So a homecoming here for Mr. Duncan. What would it be like for him to win at his home track with a uh, chase spot and a bunch of dough on the line? That would be huge for that team. That would be huge for Rage Racing. Let's hope they can get it done. Har Haruka Takeda in the Legends of Zelda. Major Mass 3D. Dodge Challenger. Relative to a Dash Car President. Robert Piet. Founder, owner, president of NASCAR, two-time champion in this series. What more do you need? Yeah. <laughs> He's had a good season, and they're trying to do what no team's done before, win three championships in a row for what is now the Bergestein series. That's a big accomplishment. Well, they're going for their all-time fifth, uh, fifth uh, career NASCAR uh, championship. Sona, of course, has two. Robert has two, so they're, so they're going for their fifth. Let's see if they can get it done. Yoshi yes, Yamamoto in the 51. Uh, there's some news out of this driver. We'll get to that in just a moment. But relative to a NASCAR chaser, got got Yoshi in to this all-star race. Alex Hawkins. Vote America winner from this season. Betty Johnson. What more do you need relative to a NASCAR champion or and chaser? And I just noticed something. You know, um, in this All-Star field, you have first and second in points in this All-Star race. Can you believe that? Isn't that something? <laughs> Devin Whitson, winner of the showdown from last night. Johnny Gardner. Um, what more do you need? I mean, he's in. Yeah. <laughs> Bridget Thomas. Relative to a NASCAR chaser. Dishwasher, a back-to-back -back winner of this season. One at Talladega. So that's a that's a big race. Last but not least, May Keon, relative to a NASCAR president. Well, that's your all-star. Now it's time to get this first segment underway. We will hold off on the picks until the final segment. So what do you, what do you expect from segment one? I expect these drivers to just have a calm race, you know, don't get aggressive, you know, it's 20 laps and you have another 20 laps, so try to make sure to use pitch strategy to come and play. We saw it in the showdown, pitch strategy came into play and that's how uh, the 13 to 90 made the all-star race because they uh, played the perfect pitch strategy when the rain came. Well, the rain sure came, and it sure put a damper on things. Plus, this track, because of the rain we had, is now back to a green racetrack. That means the cars are not going to handle well, but as we start putting more rubber on the track, it's going to really tighten these cars up, because these cars are going to slide around and open wow. Yeah, so don't adjust your TV at home by terms of green racetrack. There's a guy right now, Daniel, adjusting his TV set at home, saying, The track turned green! <laughs> <laughs> All right, lights are out on the Dodge Charger pace car. We're going green this time by in the eighth annual Dash Cup Sign All Star Race. The stakes are higher, the stakes are bigger, and this race is longer. Here we go. Field off turn four. The green flag's up. They're in the zone, and let's go racing for a million dollars. Four million if you can win all four. Good start by the three as they're coming, getting ready to come off turn two. <laughs> Great start there for the three. They race down the back stretch at breakneck speeds. What we're gonna watch for, Dango, you pull, you, you you called it out in the beginning, and last night showdown turn four. We're in turn four now. Ooh, 
that was very close. You know, another thing is, three wide can be treacherous, especially going off turn four, because, um, if you do get, um, <coughs> excuse me, if you do get three wide as the three cars in the wall, if Gotta you make get sure, oh! If that three car just put the hammer down and just sliced the field in half. That was a close call. But, as I was saying, you know, three wide coming off turn four, if you bounce off the wall and there's a car next to you, you can cause a big wreck. And we saw that big wreck in the showdown that put a car on top of another one. Yeah. Hopefully we don't see that here tonight. Wilson DiCarlo, final, final ride behind the wheel for him. He will make way for Wilson in his return in the 400 miler. Yeah, sad to see Wilson say farewell, but... This driver's done a very good job, you know, I can't wait to see what Will DiCarlo can do in his second start ever since his big accident in Daytona, and Wilson's done a fantastic job ever since uh, replacing uh, Will. This would be his first regular season start ever, because he hasn't made a, 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 regular, a, a regular season race so far this season. He will coming back here at Charlotte in that 400 miler. And looky there, there's uh, two drivers a part of the Daniel Boyle's team going, trying to go one two. Got Yoshi Yamamoto in her final race. Fernand Gavel on the wall. And here comes Betty Johnson, who um, is second in points. That would be good if he could get, get a win in the All-Star race. Well, we got some news to break about about Yoshi Yamamoto there, uh, uh, Daniel, uh, regarding your your race team. Uh, she will not be returning after this All-Star race. Yeah, um, she, uh, a drug test, which, uh, I found out, and, uh, and unfortunately after this race, she will not be back with that team anymore. So there will be a brand new driver that will be making its debut in the, uh, Bernstein series. May Keon just almost got put in the grass by the 13. That was a close call. This is wet because of all that rain we had after the showdown last night. Yeah, so if you get off into it, you, you're going to skate all, skate skate from where you start to where you end. Plus, you will tear the nose off because you can do a whole lot of damage to that car than when you hit the wall as the dishwasher takes the lead. Dishwasher, two-time winner here in season number eight, one at Talladega, so he's looking for the Talladega uh, sweep when we come back there for the chase. Exactly, and here comes the 24 who made a brilliant save. Uh, that's May, that's Keong, as there's a good look at the field. Um, Keong has been one of those drivers who could be a big surprise to win in this race, but then again, could be a uh, could be a disappointment. So we'll see how he can do it. There comes one of the Pony Motorsports drivers, Diana Vasquez. Vasquez, who did so well in the Red Bull Knockout Series, got eliminated last race, but showing her muscle and hoofing it right to the front. Yeah, and look who's right behind her. The 92's coming up here to the front. We're seeing some new players at the front of the field for the 92. There's another one of my drivers, Bridget Thomas, in the one. Yeah, Johnny Gardner at, actually took tonight off so he can race in, so he can race in, in, in this all-star race. How big will that be if, if, if he wins tonight? Very big, plus that team does not have a sponsorship on it, so that would be huge for sponsorships that would be coming for that 92 bunch. It would be huge, and here we go. One of your drivers, Daniel. That's Bridget Thomas in the one, going up towards the front. Of course, Bridget Thomas has been in that one car ever since uh, replacing her uh, little sister. Annie Thomas. And check this out. Hometown boy Nick Duncan got in on the fan boat. He's rocketing towards the front with eight to go. 99 team if they won the race after being in, got in the all-star race from the fan boat. 
that that would pocket a million dollars towards that race team. So if he wins tonight, if he wins this segment, he will be in the hunt. And for look at the run by Sonacors. Where did Sonacors come from? Season one all over again, but Alex Hawkins takes the lead. Not for wow. long. Here comes S16, defending series champion Sonacors to the front, and Nick Duncan in the wall. Wow, where did Daniel Royals in that 33 come from? He's coming up here towards the front. But they got to make sure they get past turn four, Daniel. This is not going to be good. Four wide. Oh, 55 and 16 nearly made contact. That would have been a line big they come, my goodness. That would have been a big wreck at the front of the field. And that's the last thing you don't want to have to do is a big wreck at the front. Here comes Mr. Where did he come from? Daniel Voiles, car 33. Underfunded team versus underfunded team to the line. Here comes Robert Piet. Piet to the front. Three wide. Voyles leads. Six to go. Well, I think this is going to be anticipation all over again because, you know, it's called expect the unexpected. And so far we have not had a caution in this segment. Yes, yeah, so far, no caution. The, these guys are racing pretty clean. I wouldn't say that. That was almost a wreck. Don't jinx it. Jamie. Yeah, don't please, jinx it. don't jinx <laughs> it. They are Man, racing breakneck speeds about 188 miles an hour as they enter the corner. Hey, what? These guys are racing like it's the last lap of the race. And Betty Johnson's going to take the lead. There is anything like, like it's the last lap at Homestead. <laughs> or Charlotte. Excuse or the me. last lap of their entire career. Exactly. There are out here about, about four to go in segment one. Now what we've got to watch for into the wall. It's water into the wall. That could be trouble. That could be... My Ooh, goodness. That was close. Almost took the 33's door off. Almost got taken out by the 33, and then that would have been a big accident. So far, we haven't seen that uh, potential big wreck that we saw here in the showdown. I think they probably need to, like, settle down. It's lap 18. Well, I mean, we're like 17 laps in the All-Star race, and these drivers are racing like it's the last lap of the race, or the last lap of their, of their life. We're coming up on two to go. Yoshi Yamamoto. Amayumi I mean, in prime spot to win. Two to go this time around. Yoshi Yamamoto in prime spot as well. Yoshi moves Amayumi I mean, up the track. Put car 51 P1. And we're coming to the white flag for this segment. So. White flag after, this time. We're gonna go three wide. Segment, after this segment, it will they will throw the caution out and freeze the field. White flag. Yoshi Yamamoto. Comes Nathan Hudson at ten. Put Nathan Hudson P1, but don't count these guys out yet. Here goes Takana, Vasquez, and Voiles. To the line. Turn three. Vasquez Ooh, gonna make gonna it gonna three wide. To the line they come. Off corner number four. It's a dead heat. Right to the line. It is. I'm not calling it. The away. Unbelievable. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Another it's photo finish in this all-star show in this all-star race. I don't believe it. Let's take a look. Wow. At this wild finish. That was unbelievable. I mean, check this out. They were pulling right to the star finish line. This is going to go down in history as another close finish in the All Star race. The bumper is what got this, this 08 the victory. Wow.
Let's see if we can slow it down with our NVCSN super slow mo here. Take a look. You be the judge. That was a pretty close finish right there. Very good job by that 08 team. And there's a million dollars going for uh, that 08 team. You want to talk about close? Let's take a look at our at our drone cam here, Daniel. I want to take a look at something. When they come to the start finish line, take a look at the bumper on the 10. And take a look at the bumper on the 08. See who crosses this line first. Alright, let's see. Okay, the 08 still has the advantage. The 10's getting closer, closer, closer. Man, by a splitter, that 08 won. So by the splitter of the car, Haruka Takeda and car 08 win Got the segment job one. That's only the first segment. We're, we're not done. Segment's crazy. Wait till we have the other three. So, the yellow flag's out. In segment one, they will freeze the field and we'll line it back up. Random draw qualifying is up next, but we will continue our coverage with the All-Star Race right after this. And welcome back to our coverage of the 2015 8th Annual Dash Car for Redstone All-Star Race here from Charlotte Motor Speedway in Concord, North Carolina. Random draw qualifying has concluded. Dishwasher selected the pole. So after the 08 won the first segment, she finds herself deep in the pack. So let's get this all-star field rolling. It may not be a bad idea to start at the back of the field, but, you know, track positions where it matters the most, so... Alright, segment two. Another 20 laps, then we'll cut it in half. Down to 15, then 10. So a total of 65 laps are going to be run tonight. Yeah, I wonder how, um... I wonder what kind of adjustments they told their crew chiefs after that first 20 lap run, because some of the drivers were, like, or tight, and some were loose, so... I wonder if they made the right adjustments. The driver that made the right adjustments and can stay out of trouble and avoid a wreck is the one who will win this race. Well, we're caution-free through one segment. Can we say caution-free through another one? We'll have to find out. If it's anything like the first segment, we'll see what happens in this segment. Here we go. Dishwasher selected the pull in a random draw. Wilson DiCarlo, Betty, uh, Bridget Thomas, and Fernand Gallo. Make up row one and two. Here we go. Lights are out on the pace car. Makes a hard left turn on the pit road. Segment two of the 2015 DASCAR Verizon All-Star Race, eighth annual edition. Green flag is in the air, and we're racing for another million. Takeda is in the running for two million dollars, but... She has to make up a lot of ground. In such a short and period of time. Yep. 20 laps is not that long of a race. It can go by really quickly. Here comes Bridget Thomas. On the inside. This will be lap number 21. If you combine all four uh, segments together. So now we're in lap 21. About to start lap 22. Of this, of this all-star race combined lap to a total of 65. But, will we see a caution within this all-star race before the mandatory caution comes out to freeze the field and do another random draw qualifying? I don't know. We're about to find out as Sona Force has taken the lead. As here comes Daniel Boyles in that 33 team. If anybody wants to have a good, wants to make the chase, or wants uh, a chance to win the race, it's got to be that 33 team, because he's had horrible luck. It has to be that 33, because not only if he wins the penultimate segment, 
Not only will, will, will he get a lot of bucks for his race team, but he will pocket himself a trip to the chase. And he almost pocketed himself in the wall! I wonder if he got tight off that corner or got into what we call the marble. I'm not sure, but that was too close to... Too, too close for comfort as the 98 gets squeezed up to the outside. Yeah, I wonder if the anticipation is starting to pick up even more. Four wide! 51, that was close. They almost took each other out. Well, the gloves are off, so... You'll, you'll, you'll do what... you for the lead, no less. It's 13 now on the wall. You will do what you have to do to win a segment. You will put it in the wall. You will put your teammate in the wall. You will put it on the roof just to win. Big breakaway up front. Little three wide action going on over here. No contact. Man, 13 lost a lot of time. He's about to lose this pack. Yes, I think the 13 may have a little bit of a problem here. He's losing the pack considerably, and they're raising and they're raising like a Talladega. Goodness gracious! All Star Racing at its finest, Little Miss to below the white line, but no further contact. Plus, there's no out of bounds here, unlike Daytona and Talladega. So, yeah, so it's it's fair game. If you go below that white line, it's fair game. 13 has lost this pack considerably, but I think he's doing the right move here. If they wreck, he he, he might not be involved. Yeah, the way these drivers are racing right now, there's no question there could be a wreck coming up very soon. Don't want to jinx anything, though. Yeah. All-Star Racing at its like, say, finest! Look out! That 10 nearly got the side of the wall. Yeah, the last thing we would say is, we're going caution free, and then boom, a caution comes out, so... Well, let's, let's hope it doesn't happen in, in the front of the pack. We go three wide for the race lead once again. My, oh my, oh my, oh my. Nobody make a mistake. Set course to the wall! Oh. Got, probably got in that marbles area. Yeah, she got up into that loose stuff. That's going to drop her deep in the pack. We'll keep an I eye on it. these drivers, you know, this could be a testament of what we can see in the 400. You know, so all these drivers are going to get... All these drivers have gotten some truck time. So they're all thinking about what do we have to do. Because we may bring this car back for the 400. And keep working on it well you never know they, they they do have uh four sets of backups just in case they need one for this all-star race then they have their primary for the 400 miler should they wreck the 400 all 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 their cars in this all-star race and have to go up to their 400 miler primary i think they will take the engine out of the of the primary and put it in the all-star car you never know yeah, you never know. That would be that would be a good decision. But you know, if they don't wreck, I'm not saying I'm going to fix it. Then they can use that car for the four. Rook attacking a segment one winner going back to the front. Here they come off turn two. So far, so good. Them. No caution. Here comes 55 of Alex Hawkins. Oh my goodness! Woo! That was close. Yeah, if you think that's crazy, wait till we have 41 cars for the 400 miler next week. In the daytime. Oh, wait's in the wall. Yeah, that's gonna split the field in half almost. That's gonna spark a little bit of cautious racing. So that might take her out of uh, winning two segments in a row. We go back to the front. Sees the three. 
Tony Motorsports versus Race Racing. And here comes that 90 car, the one of the transfer drivers. Yeah, Natalie Loomis made it in virtue of the transfer in the showdown. P. Up P. against the wall, we and go. we're wrecking. We go. There the it one. is. That's the big one. That's the big one. We 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 never see it in in, in, in the All Star race, and we're seeing it tonight. And oh, my goodness, it takes out three quarters of the field. Betty Johnson is done. Bridget Thomas was involved. Will the Wilson the Carlo also in it? Heavy damage on the twenty. Well. It was inevitable. You can't it's race like, like that, not crash. It takes lap 15, segment 2, and lap 35 overall in this all-star race to wreck. My, oh my. It was big when it happened. Yes, it was. So that sees Vasquez out in front, and a lot of smoke, a lot of damage on the front stretch. Flag this race. Yeah, I think Dastar has just said we're going to go ahead and stop the field on the back stretch because there may be a lot too many, too much debris for these drivers that they're going through, so they may red flag this. Well, I know one thing. This may set up a green-white checker. Let's take a look. Well, we waited until lap 35 overall in this all-star race, and it took for lap 16 for us to wreck, and it took out three-quarters of this field. Let's go ahead and take a look. Robert Piet gets below the apron. And this is going to spark a lot of wrecking. Look at look at all these cars involved. Somehow, some way, the 33 of oil somehow parting of the Red Sea for that car and banging into the wall hard for the 44. Yeah. Thankfully for um Thankfully, that was a safer barrier. Boyles did a very good job. you got to give him credit for his spotter. You see Bridget Thomas involved. Looks like three of Daniel Boyles' cars were involved. The 51 might have got a piece of it. I don't know. Uh, we would have had to have taken on board with, with, uh, with Yoshi, but take a look at the wreck avoidance done by this 33 car. When they come off turn four, they're wrecking. They're hard into the safer barrier. And the 33 is just saying, parting of the Red Sea, Moses, look out. Man, oh man, good job by Daniel Boyles. Ooh, oh, just Gardner caught the 44. And then the 44 clips her teammate hard in the wall. I would probably say that was just a racing deal, you know. It, it had to be. We'll, we'll go ahead and take a look at it from, from the helicopter. Yeah, I bet the officials just said racing deal. That was just a racing deal. That's just... Yeah, because cause take a look. Robert Piet gets wicked loose coming off of corner number four. And that that apron still kind of damp. Yeah, you see the car snap around. He was about to spin out on it. Yeah, because once you get on that apron, the car is really... The car is not going to... The car is going to have a, a different feel. And... Boy, when you get on that apron, you're done. You're along for the ride. The 44 goes hard into the safer barrier. Well, Thank God for that safer the barrier. Car, the, the points leader was also involved. Thankfully for Betty, um, this is a non-points event because if that was a um, points event, that would have hurt in both her and the six. Well, you want to see parting of the Red Sea? Let's take a look from the 33s on board because I mean. It, it, it looks like Moses said, excuse me, pardon me, playing through. I'm just going to drive on by if you, if you don't mind. <laughs> stick yep, those, let's stick the on board. I'm going to go with our NVCSN Super Slow Mo, then we'll do it real time, and here's some radio chatter. Take a look. Wow. Yeah, well, let's see how we got through this. Seeds the Smoke does a very good job. Wow. Finds some room and makes it through. That's pretty good. Well, we'll take multiple onboards. We'll take one more onboard here. Let's see what the spotter's telling Boyles about this wreck. Wow. Convoy 
of the spotter, assuring Boyles that he's going to miss this wreck. On the other hand, Bridget Thomas has has had this to say about being involved in, in, in this wreck. How bad are you damaged, Bridget? How bad are you damaged? My car is junk. I'm sorry, guys. Go low, go low. Wreck it in front, wreck it in front, wreck it in front. There's... We got... We're in it, guys. We got clipped by the 40. We got turned by the 90... By the 51. Hit the 44 and got in the wall. Let's take a look from the 4. We'll... We'll, we'll take our, our onboard here. And let's see what Vasquez's is, uh, spotter has to say about this. Big wreck on the front stretch. Well, I'll give you your first clue, point, Dexter. <laughs> Good grief. Well, we have one more on board to take. We have to, we have to see if that 51 made it through. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Smoke There's forming. a smoke. On the brakes, on the brakes, on the brakes, on the brakes! Nearly clips and does. Well, turns to 24. Yeah. Other so than that, no that damage. No damage. Yeah. So two like Boyle's racing uh, cars made it through. Yeah. Well, it's the big one. We saw it in the showdown. We see it tonight. We'll be back for the restart. Well, you want something uh, better than uh, a dash to the finish in any race? How about a green white checker in, 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 in the All Star race? We're gonna go green white checker tonight. Vasquez, Loomis, Piet, Gardner, Hawkins, Voiles, Gabo, Course, Powers, and Duncan, rounding out the top ten. So we get one attempt at the green white checkered. Natalie Loomis, Robert Piet, in prime spot to win. Yep, and if the caution comes out at any time in the screen wide checker, the race will be over. And I wonder how the six is going to be uh, right now, because he's got some damage to the back end. I wonder if he is going to be up to speed on this restart. We'll have to see what what, what the 60 of Robert Piet has has up his sleeve, because he has, he has been known to race with damaged race cars, and win. Yeah. You gotta time this start perfectly. You know, if I'm the four car, I feel like I'm a sitting duck. If I'm the ninth or the sixty, I feel like I have a prime chance of pulling off the unthinkable. So let's see what happens. One attempt at a green white checker finish here in All Star Race segment two. They're in the restart box. Vasquez cannot have a bad restart. Green flag. And she jumps. Good restart. Like the 90 might spun the tires a little bit. Either that or playing a little bit of a butt draft game. She's getting the run. So that definitely makes Vasquez a sitting gun. And down low goes Loomis. To the line they come. One flag this time. Next flag will end it. Next flag ends the race. Checkers are yellow. We're on the white flag lap. Loomis, three. Basket up into the wall. Loomis running away. But for how long? Here comes that 98. To the bottom of the track they go. Loomis has to survive. Coming up, turn number four. Natalie Loomis. Checkered flag. All star segment two. Good job, but that 90 team, remember, that 90 team got in the All-Star Race because of the showdown, being the top two transfer drivers, so. 
We're handing out a million dollars to another race team. That's the 90 of Natalie Loomis. She wins. All-Star Race segment number two. We're going to cut the locks in half right after this. Well, you want something uh, better than uh, a dash to the finish in any race? How about a green-white checker in, 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 in the All-Star Race? We're going to go green-white checker tonight. Vasquez, Loomis, Piet, Gardner, Hawkins, Voiles, Gabo, Course, Powers, and Duncan. Rounding out the top ten. So, we get one attempt at the green-white checkered. Natalie Loomis, Robert Piet in prime spot to win. Yep, and if the caution comes out at any time in the green-white checker, the race will be over. And I wonder how the six is going to be... Uh, right now because he's got some damage to the back end. I wonder if he is going to be up to speed on this restart. We'll have to see what what, what the 60 of Robert Piet has has up his sleeve because he has he has been known to race with damaged race cars and win. Yeah. You got to time this start perfectly. You know, if I'm the four car, I feel like I'm a sitting duck. If I'm the 90 or the 60, I feel like I have a prime chance of pulling off the unthinkable. So, let's see what happens. One attempt at a green-white checker finish here in All-Star Race Segment 2. They're in the restart box. Vasquez cannot have a bad restart. Green flag. And she jumps. Good restart. It's like the 90 might spun their tires a little bit. Either that or playing a little bit of a bump draft game. She's getting the run. So that definitely makes Vasquez a sitting guard. And down low goes Loomis. To the line they come, white flag this time. Next flag will end it. Next flag ends the race. Checkers are yellow. We're on the white flag lap. Loomis, three. Vasquez up into the wall. Loomis running away. But for how long? Here comes that 98. To the bottom of the track they go. Loomis has to survive. Coming up turn number four. Natalie Loomis. Checkered flag. All-star segment two. Good job by that 90 team. Remember, that 90 team got in the all-star race because of the showdown being the top two transfer drivers. So... We're handing out a million dollars to another race team. That's the 90 of Natalie Loomis. She wins. All-Star Race segment number two. We're going to cut the locks in half right after this. Welcome back to the 2015 Dascar for Wrestling All-Star Race here from the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Segment three. The laps are cut in half. We're doing 15 laps around this two point whatever mile track this is. Every car that was involved in, in that crash in segment two was, was pretty much uh, three quarters of the field. They brought out their backups, including one that was involved that hit hard into the safer barrier, the pole sitter. How about that? That's irony. <laughs> they pull out the backup. She does a random draw in, in, in the random draw qualifier and picks the pole. Never thought that would happen before in this series. Well, can a backup car win it? Well, but we're about to find that out. That would be it. That would be a first if we see that happen. Well, 15 left is all you got. And look who is right behind the 44 on that second row. Well, the teammates. Yoshi Yamamoto. Or if the teammates will work with each other. Speaking of that, this is what the 51 had to say about that. Okay, Yoshi, make sure you uh, be nice to your teammate on this restart. Be nice to your teammate on this restart. Copy, copy. Well, playing playing a little bit of a strategy might might want to take it easy on this on this uh, restart start of segment number three in the All Star race. So it takes 35 laps to wreck. Are we done with cautions? Not a clue. 
You know, it's called anything can happen in the All-Star Race, and that's why this race is proven to be no exception. Well, in Season 1, we went cautionless, or we went one caution, and then we had a three-wide photo finish. In, set, in, in Season 2, wreck and a photo finish. Season 3, wreck and a photo finish. Season 4, photo finish. 5 and 6 and 7, photo finish. Season 8, photo finish. A lot of history. Here we go. Segment 3, cut in half, 15 laps, all you got. Put it on the line, or, or put it in the wall, or bring home that steering wheel. During the restart zone, green flag. Looks Yoshi like the putting the bumper to the 44. Yeah, it looks like the 44 and the 51 did a very good job on that start. Now, your teammates are worried to find them right now, but when it comes down to that last 10 laps, all bets are off. Yeah, it's every guy and gal for themselves, and that's a big point. As looks like the 51 is going to lead this lap. Or is she? Yes. I thought that 44 had a run. Yeah, but probably it's got to be Marvel. Here comes Sona Course in the 16. Defending Series Champion Sona Course. Daniel Voiles down there on the inside. Help from a race racing car. And look who is up here at the front. The one who won the second segment, Natalie Loomis. How about this? If she can win it, she would pocket $2 million, but she still has to win four, uh, the, the, the penultimate round, segment four, to lock into this chase. And here's a little irony. Look who is also up here at the front, the O way. Tack it up. Segment one. Segment one winner. 98 of Mason Powers, or Stephanie Garner, excuse me. And Garner leads. We haven't talked much about that 98 team all day, all night long. No, they've, they've admired uh, about deep in the pack. They were involved in, 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 the, in, the lap, uh, in the lap 35 wreck overall in this all-star race. Here comes hometown. That was John driver number 99 of Nick Duncan. What would it mean for him if he would win on this stage in this all-star race at his home track? This is what he had to say. Okay, make sure you have a Make sure your belts are tightened because it's going to get wild. It's going to get wild. Oh, they're looking like they're going to wreck. Oh, this is going to repeat like last year. This is going to be big if they oh. wreck and they don't. Robert Piet almost went two for two on that one. Well, Robert Piet went on his roof in last season's All-Star Race, but he doesn't want to repeat of that. Here comes that 33. I think the 33 is just playing at patience, you know, even though we have, like, even though we are black All-Star. Uh, oh, my three. goodness. That was close. That was almost a disaster. That almost Piet took out the field again. Lap. Piet to the front. Make it off of the wall. One car losing the draft. Looks at the 22. I wonder if he's waiting until that 10 lap segment because there could be a big wreck up here. Oh! No, oh, Daniel, oh, you jinxed oh, us! Oh my! No wreck! How do they get away with murder and don't wreck is totally beyond me. Well, they're still looking like they're going to wreck. They're racing like a pack of hornets. In the three they go. Still three. Still three. Ooh, that was contact. And big contact. And again, they don't wreck. To the line they come, Yoshi Yamamoto, with help from uh, her Chevy teammate, Diana Vasquez. Look at that, three Chevys. It's a Chevy, one, two, three, four, on the track. Yeah. We haven't seen that in All-Star Race history. To the line, Yamamoto. 
But here comes that four of Diana Vasquez. We still got three fours up front. Here comes a Ford and a Dodge. And my oh my. Four to go. Four to go. It's gonna get interesting. Here comes that one of Bridget Thomas down to the bottom. What would it mean for that team to win? One of the drivers in a backup car. Yeah, she got turned by by, by her teammate, Bri uh, uh, Betty Johnson, in the 44 in that wreck. But I don't think team owner Dina Boyles will put the blame on either of those two. I just think that was just a racing deal. Yeah, it was, because she was already getting turned around, and Bridget, Bridget just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And but she's, she's in the right place at the right time, leading. For how long? Here comes that. Here comes hometown hero Nick Duncan. Boy, they are really getting tight. And where in the world did that 39 of Zachary Fitzwater come from? Give a call to that 39 car there, Daniel. He is just built in the metal, possibly even to the surface of the racetrack. To For win. a driver who knows his road course skills, that would be impressive if he picks up a win on an oval. Oh, he gets kicked up. Two to go. Man, oh man, it's repeating like the first segment, except we haven't had a wreck. Well, if history repeats itself, we'll see a wreck in the next segment, but I don't want to jinx it. We'll come up yeah. on the white flag this time. One and a half laps to go down the back stretch. Here comes Ami Yumi for Rage Racing. It will mean a lot for this team to win a segment. They got to get past the white flag, though. Dishwasher and Betty Johnson. And, and look who's backup. behind Betty Johnson. Her team owner, Daniel Voiles. Oh, Betty has a prime spot. So does Voiles. My, 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 my. But do they have a chance to get around that corner? Oh, this could be repeat like the first segment. Here we go, three oh, wide. To the line they come. Trying to peek. No, to the this line. Is gonna be a, this is going to be a photo be finish. Washer. washer. By second over Army Unit. Incredible. Incredible. So there's another driver who gets a million. Three first time segment winners. Woo -hoo -hooo -hoo. Let's yeah, take a look at this lap, finish. Let's take a look at this finish. I don't believe what, what I just saw right now. Take a look as they come to the line. This is almost a repeat like what the awake did in the first segment. Oh, and we can't see it. Gosh darn it. Yep, blame the camera work first. Now we can see it. Alright. Wow. Wow. As I said in segment one, I'll say it again. Um, by a splitter. Actually, by the nose. Wow. About three quarters of a car length. Tell me about it. It don't get no better than this. We we have seen photo finishes in two of the four All-Star segments. Will we see it again in the final one? Because that's the one that matters the most. The penultimate round. Segment four. We're going to cut the laps down to ten when we come back. Welcome back to the 2015 Dascar for Redesign All-Star Race here from the Charlotte Motor Speedway. It's time. The penultimate round is here. Segment four. The final segment of the All-Star Race. We cut the laps down to ten. It went from it went from 20, 20, 15, and now 10. So, this is where your big bucks are made. This is where you lock into the chase. This is where you put your big boy and your big girl pants on and say, let's go. This is where no friends are made. This is where you put it in the wall, or you put your driver in the wall, or you bring home the steering wheel. Boyles? Yep. Let's 
get this party started. It's time for our picks presented by Nationwide. Nationwide is on your side. All-Star Edition, who do you got to win this penultimate round? This driver, I think, has done a fantastic job. I'm going to go with Natalie Loomis. She won the second segment because um, we had a huge wreck in that second segment. Could she pull off another uh, win like that? That would be a good one. So I think Natalie Loomis has got it. I'm going to go with, with that 33 car of Daniel Boyles here. He has missed a wreck be consistently in the top 10, top 5, and he almost won the last thing. So, my pick is at 33. But, 10 laps is, is going to go like a flash of lightning. It's either you'll win it, or you'll bring home that steering wheel. You'll put your teammate in the wall, you'll wreck it, you'll put it in the grass, you'll put it on the roof just to win. And we've only had one caution so far. Will that train continue? Will we have only one caution in this all-star race? We're we'll about to find out. That Dodge Charger pace car will make the hard left turn on the pit road. And the penultimate round of this all-star race is about to Ten go laps. green. Ten laps is all you got. It's either you bring it home or you go home. Go big. Go home. It's time. Segment four. We're racing. That was a dead even start by the 13 and the uh, 99 on the outside. Yeah, Daskar said nobody break away in this all-star race. They want a good, clean start, and that's just what they got. But the stakes are higher. The laps are shorter. You got to give it all you got. And here comes that 33. Our Tarkin is going to try to take the lead. Boyle's got in that apron. Boyle's gone the apron, may have gotten in the grass. Nine to go. And up into the wall goes the 13. The 13. Wall. It goes at 20. Coming to the line. Up the track and three wide. That's water coming that 39. Yeah, he's, he's got a big push from Robert Piet in that 60, but will momentum carry over to the checkered flag? Here comes the 10 and Nathan Hudson. Made it in virtue of that Daytona shootout win a season ago. What would it be like for him to pull the unthinkable well, he's got a lot of veterans to work around. He's going to work around one of them. Laps are clicking down like lightning. So as the lap counter, as the lap counter ticks down, the pulse rate kicks up. Speaking of kicking up, four oh, wide! And into the wall! Bridget that Thomas around uh, in the grass, and we're going to wreck on the front stretch. Oh, no. Hard into the wall. Oh, no. The big one, part two. Oh, dear. There wouldn't be a caution if Bridget Thomas was, did not get turned in the grass, and a lot of good cars are gone. Wow. Yellow flag oh, is dear. out. I knew three. I knew four wide was not going to be a good decision. Now these guys have to slow down. Slow cars in two, and they're getting on the brakes. Good grief! So we'll take a look at the replay here of our second caution in the, in this All Star race. All right, Daniel. We talked about it. Go big or go home, and unfortunately, go big meant. Go on the wall and wreck about three quarters of the field again. Yeah, it Hard on like the wall that, goes uh, to 10. Three car pushed the 10 up the track. Took the 60 of PN the wall. They save it, but keep your on the 98. Stephanie took um, the 39. I don't think Stephanie didn't mean to do that. I think they were just trying to avoid the 10 car. And as a result, 
All heck is gonna go loose. Fitzwater is gonna get clipped by Betty Johnson. Middleware for Bridget Thomas and a one to go. I Robert mean, that Piet just takes out a lot Diana of good cars. Just got involved. And look at the job the 16 does to avoid that crash. You want to talk about go big or go home? Go big and avoid a wreck. Goodness. Let's take a look from the from, from another angle. All right, here's our here's our alternate angle. Take uh, keep keep an eye on the 10 and the 60. This doesn't bring the caution out, Dangle. What what brings the caution out is that 39 and that 98. Yeah, I think what happened was when the 39 saw that incident, he goes to the left, didn't see Stephanie Gardner there until it was too late. Betty Johnson, for some reason, checked up, but it was because of that 10 car, and that's why the 39 got turned. He didn't do anything wrong. He just didn't see the 98 come until it was too late, and... Boy, Betty Johnson, her night just went from bad to worse. Yeah, where they hit the wall there, Daniel, there's no safer barrier. Yeah. But three quarters of the field again is gone. Take a look from the from the start from from the start line. Yeah, right there, you see it. I think that probably is another case of that's just a racing deal. Yeah, because the because the gloves are off. You're racing for a million dollars at the spot in the chase, and yeah, it it's just a case of racing. Well, such a sh such a shame for the su su such a shame for the 44 and the one. You know, they weren't the 44 nearly won the segment. The one has been involved in too many incidents. I think that might have iced the cake there, so. Yeah, that might have iced it right there. We'll line them up and do it again. Right after this. What can be better than a green-white checker in, in, in the also race Daniel? How about a one-lap shootout? Yep, that means they'll throw the green and the white flag out. That will mean one lap to go. We're giving you your top ten right now, so this is where the big bucks are going to be made. Either you lock in... Or you don't. Natalie Loomis, or not not Loomis, uh, Takana. In front spot to win and lock into the chase. Gabo. Yeah, here's a little irony. You had her sister, Rukata, won segment one. Would it be funny if, if uh, Takana won the first segment? Oh, something's wrong with the 18. Something's wrong with the 18. 18 car has big trouble. There goes the engine on that car. Or not. Might, might have a tire problem, but Dascar's not going to add an extra lap, and, he, and he's going to fall in behind the pace car. So give Rage Racing a 1-2. Wow. What a tough break for that 18. So that brings the 20 into the picture, and that brings the 98 into the picture as well. As I was uh, getting ready to say before that happened, we had Sakana that won the first segment. How would it be if the other Takna, Ray, who's leading the race, win the segment and the All-Star race. That would be ironic. Green flag, white flag are up. It's the money lap, literally. Here comes Yumi. Yumi got a very good run off that corner. Ami Yumi in prime spot to win, half a lap. Gardner getting the run. Here comes Stephanie down to the Another bottom. Photo it's going to be a five side by side finish to the line. They come. It is it's Gardner. 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 Stephanie Gardner's won this race. Stephanie Gardner is going to the All Star. Is going to the chase. Can you believe it? Oh, Johnny Gardner is going to be a happy man. Stephanie Gardner punches her ticket to the chase. How about that? I I don't believe it. I'm, I'm speechless. We got to take a look at that because she pulled at the right time. They were 100 feet to the start-finish line. 
and take a look at the run. Right at the nick of time, half a car length, and another photo finish. Three out of the four segments we've seen a photo finish. How about um, another irony? Four first-time segment winners. And they all pocket the same amount of money. But only yeah. Gardner pockets a trip to the chase. Wow, that's going to be a lot of big boost for that 98 team. Half a car length to margin, and half a car length into the chase. How about that? Yeah. Well, 31 one thousandths of a second was the, was the official margin. Four cars out of the race, and four cars not, in, not, not into the chase, but they will have another shot in the 400 miler. But man, very good also race. We saw two cautions, 65 good laps, and three out of the four photo finishes. Well, it don't get no better than that, but what could be better than that is another photo finish, another photo finish in the 400 miler. Yeah. Gonna be exciting. That's gonna wrap it up here tonight. All-Star Weekend is in the books. We'll do it all again in season number nine. Until then. Tune in next time for the 400 miler back here at Charlotte. For Daniel Boyles, I'm Jeffy Pinter. Another all summer race is in the books. We'll do it all again next season. Until then, tune in next time for the SpongeBob SquarePants 400 in memory of Scott Campbell. Good night, everybody. <laughs>